just a reminder before we start, we are in the second intermediate grade, full blast three, first semester, our subject of course is English, our lesson today is 4A around town, vocabulary and read, presented and uh, prepared by Mohamed Falata. Let's start everybody, I'm really excited. Okay, what we are going to learn today in this lesson, we are going to talk about places in a city. Okay, there are a lot of places, so we are going to talk about place in a city, town, or neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood, your place to live in. It. Okay, we're going to practice a new vocabulary and the structure throughout the dialogue. Throughout the dialogue, people speaking to each other. Okay, two or three, like a conversation. Okay, we will learn new vocabulary about it. Okay, let's start, everybody. We we'll start with the warming up, everybody. Where do you live? Where do you live? I'm asking about the place, okay? Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Jeddah, for example. I live in Mecca. I live in Medina. It's up to you. I'm asking about the place, okay? Which place you usually visit in your city? Which place you usually visit in your city? So, um usually visit the gym. I usually visit what? Mall. It's up to you which place you usually visit in your city. Okay? Let's take some vocabulary, everybody. Let's take some a lot of places and we will pick up. Okay, this one place, the hairdressers. Hairdressers. It's a place for a man you, if you go to the hairdressers, you cut your hair to make it more prettier. Also the women, they went to hairdressers to make their hair more beautiful, okay? And this is another place, it's called news agents. News agents, this place you can buy news papers magazines and a lot of stuff okay and the news agents okay to the newspapers everybody okay let's go this place the florist florist the place the beautiful place you can buy some flowers okay buy some flowers okay library I love this place everybody Library, you can buy books, read it, and get the knowledge, and learn a lot of things, okay? It's a library. Travel agents, I love this place also. It's a place you can buy tickets, you can arrange for travel. You want to go, for example, to USA, United States of America, United Kingdom, you want to go to another city or another country, you went to this place and you buy some tickets, then you go, okay? The place, arrange your travel, arrange your travel, okay? Chemist, chemist, please, if you are sick or ill, you go and buy medicine from this place, okay? You buy some medicine. Have a cough, stomachache, headache, you can buy some stuff here. And the most popular thing is Banadol, okay? Banadol. Okay, post office. Post office. The place you send your messages, okay? To another place or another city or another country, okay? your envelope, you put it here, you go to the boss of it, then they send this message or this envelope to your friend or your family to another place. Market, yes, I love it. Okay, market, you can buy a lot of stuff, food and many good stuff. You can eat and arrange your dinner in your house. Okay, now, Complete then listen. Complete then listen. Okay, 
Number one, you can buy magazines and newspaper at what? Okay, where is the place? Look at we have the picture and the places written down on it. Like this one is news agents, library, post office, hairdressers. So you can buy magazines and newspaper at the where? Number two, you can boss a letter or buy a stamp at the where? Number three, you can borrow books from Number four, you can get a haircut at the where? Okay, and uh, another four pictures. You can book a holiday at the where? Where you can book a holiday to travel. Okay, next you can get a medicine. If you are sick, you get the medicine from the where? Number three, you can buy fruit and vegetables at where? Number four, or last but not least, you can buy flowers at the where? Okay, let's listen. I hope you got it all right. Listen carefully. Module four, places. 4A, around town. 1. Vocabulary Complete the sentences with the places in the box. Then listen and check your answers. 1. You can buy magazines and newspapers at the newsagents. 2. You can post a letter or buy stamps at the post office. 3. You can borrow books from the library. 4. You can get a haircut at the hairdressers. 5. You can book a holiday at the travel agents. 6. You can get medicine from the chemists. 7. You can buy fruit and vegetables at the market. 8. You can buy flowers at the florists. Okay, we got all the answers so let's review it you can buy magazines and newspaper at the news agents of course you can post a letter or buy a stamp at the post office you can borrow books from of course the library you can get a haircut at the hairdresser of course you can book a holiday at the need travel agents. You can get the medicine if you are sick from the chemists. You can buy fruit and vegetables at where? Of course, the market. You can buy flowers at the florist. Okay? Good, good, good. Match. Which is which? Okay, about one, two, three, four pictures. And we have a market, chemist, hairdresser, library, and boss office. Let's do it together, everybody. Where is the market? Number one or two or three or four? Of course, it's number four. This is the market. Yes, this one. Okay, the chemist. Where is the chemist? There's no chemist here. So, let's go to the hairdresser. Hairdresser, of course, number three. Number three. Okay, good, good, good. Where's the library? Library, look at this girl. She's reading a book. So, of course, number one is the library. And what is this place? The post. Office. Okay, this is number two. This is number two. Good, good, good. Okay, listen and read. Let's listen. I'm gonna read the dialogue. Then we're gonna answer 
true or false questions. Okay, so listen carefully. Two, read. A, listen and read. Where would you hear these dialogues? Choose from the names of the places in activity one and write them in the boxes. Okay, gonna listen and read. Where would you like to hear these dialogues? Choose from the names of the places in activity one and write them in the box. Okay, let's see. This is number one. One. Hello. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, please. Have you got today's daily news? Yes, of course. Here you are. Thanks. Would you like anything else? Uh, yes. Have you got the magazine Popular People? Hmm. There may be one on that shelf over there. Let me check. OK. There's a dialogue between Mr. Adams and his assistants. OK. Mr. Adams said, hello. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, please. Have you got today's daily news? Yes, of course. Here you are. Yes. Have you got the magazine Popular People? Mm, there may be one on that shelf over there. Let me check. Okay. Okay, everybody. Choose the correct picture. Choose the correct picture. Shelf mean. What is shelf mean? This one or this one? Of course, shelf is this one. The carpet. Okay, it's the shelf. Okay. Let's go for true or false. I hope you listened carefully. Okay. Mr. Adam wants to buy two newspapers. Okay, read again and write T for true or F for false. Dialogue number one, we just heard it. Let's answer this question. Number one, Mr. Adams want to buy two newspapers. Two newspapers, everybody. Just focus on the question. Newspapers. Two, the man is sure he's got popular people. He is sure. The assistant is sure he's got popular people. Wants to buy two newspapers, false, one newspaper, one magazine. Okay? The man is sure he's got popular people. No. He said, mm, let me check. Let me check, it means he's not sure. Okay, everybody? Let me check, it means like he's not sure. Okay? Let's go to dialogue number two between assistants and Mr. Jameson. Two. Good morning. How can I help you? I'd like to go to Ponce in July. Ponce, Puerto Rico? That's right. Are there any cheap flights? Um, I'm afraid not. Tickets are around 1,100 euros. But I might find some cheap tickets for June. June? Oh no. I want to go to a conference in July. I haven't got anything, sorry. Thank you, anyway. Okay. Just listen to the second dialogue. I'm going to read it again. Good morning. How can I help you? I'd like to go to Ponce in July. Ponce, Puerto Rico? That's right. Are there any cheap flights? Mm, I'm afraid not. Tickets around 1,100 euros. But I might find some cheap tickets for June. June? Oh no. I want to go to a conference in July. I haven't got anything. Sorry. Thank you anyway. Okay. So the place is, of course, the travel agents. So match the picture with the words. Number one. Number one is of course what is this? Years of course. This is number one. 
what is number two? So ticket or assistant? Of course, is a fly tickets. Fly tickets. Very good. Okay. Dialogue number two. We have true and false now. There are sheep flights to Ponce in July. There are sheep flights to Ponce in July. Is it true or false? The next one is Mr. Jameson wants to go to Puerto Rico in July. In July. True or false? Okay, so there are sheep flies to Ponce in July. False, of course. They are expensive in June, maybe. But Mr. Jameson wants to go to to Puerto Rico, of course. Puerto Rico, Ponce, Puerto Rico. Ponce is a city in Puerto Rico, okay? In July, that's true. So let's listen to number three now. This is number three. Three. Hello. Could I ask you something? Yes, of course. I left my card at home. Can I still borrow this book? No, I'm afraid you can't. But I really need this book. I can bring my card tomorrow. I'm sorry. You know, there is something you can do. What's that? Ask one of your friends to borrow it for you. That's a good idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. It is number three, of course. It's in where? In the library, of course. Let's read it together. Hello, could I ask you something? Yes, of course. I left my card at home. Can I still borrow this book? No, I'm afraid you can't. But I really need this book. I can't bring my card tomorrow. I'm sorry. You know, there is something you can do. What's that? Ask one of your friends to borrow it for you. That's a good idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's take the true and false question. Number one. The boy hasn't got his card with him. It's true or false? Next one, the man decided to give the boy the book anyway. True or false? Of course, number one is true. He hasn't got his card with him. The man decided to give the boy the book anyway. It's false. He told him to borrow it for a friend. Okay, this is the end of our class today. We just learned a new vocabulary, travel agents, chemist, post office, shelf, library, hairdressers, market, all these words. And we read three dialogues about Mr. Adams want to buy some news, sheep flies, travel agents, and all the library. This is the end of our class. Thank you very much. See you next time.